My name is Krishna. I don't sell flowers. Okay. <laughs> in wholesale. I sell in wholesale. Do you know what you call a flower seller in <coughs> French? Indian. <laughs> so let's talk about India. <laughs> uh, what, what do you think is the greatest contribution of India to the world? Uh, last show I was in, some, uh, somebody shouted, a woman shouted out, you! <laughs> I said, shut up, mom. <laughs> uh, yeah, what do you think? Hey. Taj Mahal? Hinduism. Number? English. Tandoori. <laughs> Tandoori, yes. I know you want to ask me if I know a good Indian restaurant. Yes. <laughs> you should try Kashmir. It can be Indian, it can be Pakistani, it can be Chinese. Uh, speciality is uh, dog tikka masala, uh, dog tandoori, and uh, mango lassi. <laughs> this is the only audience where that works. <laughs> you guys are super intelligent. Yeah, I think Taj Mahal is amazing. What do you, th what do you think? Like, like, I mean, it's like a monument made by a mogul, um, not a movie mogul. <coughs> I mean, you know that Harvey Weinstein is called a movie mogul, and the word mogul, it comes from uh, the moguls who made the Taj Mahal. Mm -hmm. oh, now we know. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I mean, it was not surprising for me because the Mughals, uh, I mean, they make great monuments. Uh, they make, like, Shakespeare in Love, Pulp Fiction, and, <laughs> and they make also great, um, yeah, other things. <laughs> uh, zero, did you know India contributed zero to the world? Some of you are, are, are like, not convinced. You, you think it's Arabs who con contributed that? I know that zero is Sanskrit, but... Uh, <laughs> zero is from Arabic. The word zero is Arabic. Is it? Yeah. Do, do you yeah. know the word algebra is Arabic? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything with al is Arabic. Algebra, <laughs> algorithm, alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Al Pacino. That's the most important. Yoga. Yoga. I mean, like, we uh, invented breathing. <laughs> People were like, breathe. <laughs> 500 euros. <laughs> I mean, yoga transformed my life. I was a 65-year-old Swedish woman. <laughs> <laughs> what animals do you think the French are? I mean, like, if they were an animal. Cats? Cats. cats. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to talk about cats. Okay. Yeah, I mean, some people think it's like the cock, the cock is like, I mean, what do you mean by chicken? I mean, like, dogs? No. I think they are zebras. It's like a zebra is like a donkey with fashion sense. <laughs> <laughs> Stylish ass. <laughs> Sitting in cafes, smoking electronic goloas. Eating <laughs> Baudelaire and eating fromage with their chômage money. <laughs> and wearing stripes, uh, the French national uniform. Uh, yeah. The marinier. Uh, are you French? No. Yeah, yeah. You are inside your French. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I, France has given me a lot. I want to invent something for France. I invented uh, the burkinier. It's a, it's a combination between the burkini and the marine. <laughs> That's my time. One more minute. Okay. So I have a show. If you want to hear more jokes, it's called I Don't Sell Flowers. <laughs> I'll be giving you uh, flyers uh, as you go out. No, flowers, not fly yeah. flyers. Flyers <laughs> with flowers. House of pain, rose in our coats in the diamond of tears, refugee sense arms of fears, the last silence of, of broken dreams, behind the sense and behind the four trees, <coughs> behind the visions of lorms, behind the illusions, behind the, the fountain, behind the travel of color of love, since the journey's Joplin. Behind the aliens, when we probe in the hurt cabin. Behind the audience, what we send, when we save.
In a southern land, what we stay. In a southern land, what we try. Burn in the holy sky. In a vein of miracles, in a rain of chaos, in the last independence, we pray against the liar conscience, like the hate's commotions. In the sunset of birth, what we send, what we heard, in the dirty faces, in the right skin, what we learn, behavior, in the holy chance, in the proud thing, the last lambs, suicide in the holy stars, like diamonds of the sound of <coughs> silence, in the holy sunshines of power, of love, against the power of his last exile. Maître à Jérusalem, la mort confondra leur sort et les cieux révélés dans un sang d'élan contre les vents des tranchées au sable noir de leur édition. Comme le dernier sort des infâmes de la luxure des oripelles enflammées par le sang de leur cimetière immaculé, brandissant le feu de Jeanne d'Arc. Comme une dernière cause de l'humanité, comme une complainte assoiffée d'or et de sang, aux tremble morte d'un automne sans feuilles, pour briser le sang d'un dernier amour, aux péninsules des aigles no noirs, rompant le silence aux oiseaux de feu, à l'étel de nos miroirs, pour heurter le silence d'un cri éternel comme une émotion en reflet, comme le sang des cristallins, au souffle des sanglots, brisés contre la mort, que les innocents tremblent à leur porte le souffle de leur mort, pour condamner la crinière noire des idolâtres et de leurs pamphlets, au signe élevé aux cieux, jusqu'au dernier vœu d'un seul miracle, au chevet de l'espoir comme un vœu, comme les âmes condamnent les frontières pour souffrir au sang des orchidées, et souffrir pour un seul rêve aux archers oubliés de la mémoire des hommes, au ciel illuminé de sa dernière prière, ou les anges libérés de sa dernière image, au souffle de sa dernière lumière, pour remuer l'ossante brisée du sang du poète, brisé dans un amour aveugle, pour écrire son recueil de la dernière volonté d'une larme d'étoile et d'une larme de feu, pour t'aimer jusqu'à l'oubli d'une rose rouge et blanche, avouée d'une hélène, hélène de ciel, pour vivre seul et pour toujours, pour écrire de son sang, l'âme d'un amour éternel, comme une dernière lettre à Jérusalem. Black star seal, body cut open, red blood stream, and a dark heart beats below the skin of each one of us. Sailing down the river of visions, one steamed vices by the church I've abandoned. I stare down death in the pitch black, and survive utter terror. Gasp for breath, a fear of suffocation, but rise, burn bled to the mountain, sturdy, wild, a lesson. Carry your own light in the dark. Mushroom vision number three. I burped an anglerfish skeleton last night. Large, it took off immediately, swimming off into the depths to find new journeys across the water. Delicate, filigree bones. Childbirth can be so thankless, but everything returns in one way or the other. Acid jelly bean on skid row. A magic bean to grow a stalk towards the heavens from the compost of experience, floating in and out, derelict architecture, interior and exterior, constant seeking of carnivalesque union. And when Charlie and the Impala decided to go to Terence's, it was all syncopatic longing for stimulation, absent resistance, breaking through into a flow state from around the hollow ways of Terence's loft in the city of lost angels, L.A., inverted paradise, an ancient bathhouse, the ways, the walls have seen decades of flesh and hedonism, and the acid broke down my barriers, dissolving the boundaries, and I felt like flying, 
surrealism and reality, swimming upside down in the rains of the collective unconscious that fertilize the ground for the next harvest, the next unfurling of stalks towards the heavens. Futurism, speeding towards the future on a crash, on a crash course with oblivion. I ate painted mushrooms tonight and tried to watch the stars. A meteor shower, an encounter with outer space. My mother promised me angels and weeping virgins burdened with sighs, but I find more divinity in a plant spirit that can embrace from the earth. She gives you solace if you, if you want forgiveness. Feeding off old systems decaying before our eyes. I microdose because I'm afraid of tomorrow. And suicidal thoughts are like buttons on an exit pane. But there are still too many things left. I'll do two poems. The second one is on theme, and the first one isn't. And the first one is called Another Kodak Moment. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to happen this way. I should have met you at the airport on the runway, or perhaps in an elevator in between floors, or maybe just some no-name bar where the eyes of strangers cling to your lapel like dying oysters. We've all been there before, the borrowed rooms we've stepped into backwards. Today we stand in the middle, today we stand in the ruins of my kitchen. I like knowing where I stand with you. Balancing fire and water, spilling hot words and cold dreams like a table with only three legs. Already you are one foot out the door. Already you are sending me a postcard from the next room. This is not what I asked for. This is not what I wanted. All I ever wanted was a motion picture show with a full-length feature film of our lives unfolding, frame upon frame, moment to moment, pictures spilling in and out of one another, exploding into light. All I ever wanted was a little truth in the old dark room. <coughs> Instead, you had me a snapshot of yourself, a face with no neck or hands. God knows what you do with me. Better I remain in some dark, undisclosed place, a lost country whose language you cannot speak, whose undeveloped terrain you will never explore, abbreviate, or retouch. But you, ever the tourist, continue to reload the camera of your eyes, rolling them with the cheap film of your Polaroid past. Eyes that leave but never arrive. Eyes that follow me wherever you go, the barrel of your telescopic lens, that glossy projector, that other loaded gun, pressing softly against my photographic plate. Always your finger on the trigger of what might have been. It wasn't supposed to happen this way until one day it clicks. <coughs> it was supposed to happen this way. Always my finger on the trigger of what might have been until the final flash of recognition, of precognition, the final destination of a life unlived. And this one is on theme because that's my job. Um, <laughs> It's called Metropolis, and it's about New York, because I knew that Steve and Yuko were going to be here this evening. <coughs> All right, Metropolis. They built this noise under the quiet protest of stars. The sun looked on, the moon feigned sleep. Angels peeked through parting clouds as numbers crashed. Don't look down on Wall Street. Concrete gray columns of average industrial sentences, whole paragraphs, Topple daily, reputations left in the red, splattered onto sidewalks. This teeming mecca, this well, where hucksters hawk dreams, where money still screams out windows, vacant stare. Look up if you dare on the honking sideshow below. Day traders for night, night for day, the buzzwords, the sting, the swarm of the deal played out 
in human traffic. Worker drones who know the drill spin the spin, money as honey. While bittersweet tears from deeper pockets, buddy, can you spare a dime? Soon run dry from empty sockets. This hive of singular <laughs> sensation of relentless rhythm, vertical geography, hybrid choreography, skyscrapers skyrocketing, skyrocketing through invisible portals, New Yorkers, old Yorkers. Those electric immortals in locomotion of perpetual hum. Queen bees, busy bees, the bees' knees and yellow taxis buzzing to the beat of a drum. The faceless matter, the chatter, the up-and-coming billboards, bruised notes, gutted smokes, pavements slick with promise. Silent masturbators in back alleys, tattoo parlors, the corridors of your mind. Tokes from used cigarettes, small town second-hand strangers on your breath, the scent of death. Buddy, can you spare a dime? From the other side of my page just now. Oh, baby, baby. The lonely slant of consonants, the haunting flesh of vowels, the skeletal skyline of nectar that once was. Regret lurks in the shadows where mostly you pay the rent, hum elegies to collapse monuments between your thighs. The crumbling de decay of ink, of liquid obsolescence, that urban grind, his own dark brew that rides the subway, the back of your throat. We live by our instincts, the steel of our teeth, upscale ourselves in black velvet, night worn, summer's giddy breathless care, lusts, is this all there is? Fading appetite, hum lullabies for drifters, the veil moon, the lament of leaves, train tracks going nowhere. 